aid you, not just in the day of trouble, but even before that. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 21 says, Whether you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, This is the way. Walk in it. It is not just his job to deliver you when you are in the trouble, but to guide you against entering it in the first place. Though he is not obligated to aid us, God puts that on himself that anyone who calls him, him in faith will receive his help. This is my message to you today, that just like the movie director and the crew members who work tirelessly to make a great movie that you so love greatly without appearing in it, in the background of your life, God is involved. People only see the movie casts, the actors and actresses, and we celebrate them. However, there are those who work behind the scenes. These are the ones who make it happen. Just like these people, God is working behind that disappointment to prepare a stage for you. Just like a movie has a plot twist. You think you've seen the worst and the director blows your mind with the script. God has your script. And as long as you keep walking in faith on Him, that script will play out. Don't worry about how it is right now. When the twist comes, everything will fall into place, my friend. I urge you today to not only dare to trust God, but to also examine yourself to make sure you are walking with Him. Remember that when the Bible said all things work together for the good of them that love God, it wasn't referring to people who were living for themselves, doing their own thing and walking in disobedience. It was talking about those whose hearts are on God, who seek to obey His will with all their hearts. It was talking about people who were not condoning sin in their lives, who committed themselves to seeing righteousness and truth prevail. Men and women who genuinely love God. When Joseph was going through his various ordeals, it probably didn't look like God was working on his behalf. But did Joseph give up? No, he didn't. He kept believing. He didn't throw his integrity away. Potiphar's wife, the prison, he not only kept his focus on his dreams or the promises of God, he also kept his heart with God. What about Abraham? His relationship with God was solid through the ups and downs, through the disappointments and all. Until the Bible says God fulfilled all he promised. What about the Israelites? Hear what Moses told them in Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 2. Remember how the Lord your God led you all the way into the wilderness these 40 years to humble and test you in order to know what was in your heart, whether or not you would keep his commands. In all from one gen, sometimes what you go through will not look like where you are going. Therefore, you must not make the mistake of defining your future with what you are currently dealing with right now. Your current circumstance is with you on the journey. Don't stop believing. Don't stop hoping. Don't lose hope. Don't lose heart. Don't lose faith. The just shall live only by their faith. That means without faith, the just shall die. And how does faith come? It comes from the Word of God. Expose your heart to the Word of God, to the knowledge of His Word and His ability to execute every bit to the latter. You will have what you believe. You will only go so far as your faith in Him. If you believe Him for the long run, you will get there. If you only believe Him when it favors your mind, then you'll fall off when things go off. Blessed are those whose hearts are on Him. They will not fail. They will not fail. I urge you today, you need to keep believing. Your miracle is about to reveal itself. God is working it, still working on your behalf. It is about to reveal itself. Don't give up yet. Even though I physically did not look like Catchy, there was still something very familiar in the 